Good morning, guys. Uh, welcome. We are going to take a, a little bit. Uh, bear with me. I, I got slides and stuff that I'll be flipping through to show off all the colors. Um, but we're going to talk through the 2021 Skeeter lineup. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, the bass boats. Yes. Bass boats. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to go through. Um, we'll start with the uh, the ZXs. Um, we got some new colors. I kind of wish we had actual boats to, to show. Soon enough. Soon, soon enough. enough. Soon well, enough. actually, not soon enough because it seems like people right. are lined up to yes. buy them. So we will get to a boat availability uh, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of plan that for the end after we've gone through everything. Um, we'll show off the colors. Uh, and uh, guys, if you've got questions, comment those questions. Let us know. Um, we'll do the best we can to answer them. Um, what are you? What are you smirking <laughs> Just at? Reading comments. Uh oh. All right. Maybe yeah, we gonna, should stop I'm reading gonna, comments. I'm bring these up and yeah. read them. Because that's always the fun part. <laughs> I guess what we should start first with is what are the actual changes to the models, right? Yes. Yeah. Because we have so the okay. ZX lineup now is 150. ZX-150, ZX-200, and ZX-225. Uh, the ZX-225 doesn't come with power pole anymore. They had the one power pole in 2020, but in 21 they don't. And then you go to the ZXR lineup from there. The ZX-250 is no longer here. By, by ZX-250. Um, but we have the ZXR-20 and ZXR-21, and those are basically full load uh Dual power poles, 250, no, one power pole, you're right, one power, power pole. pole. Uh, the, Z, the 250 show on both of them. Um, and then you get into the FXR Limiteds, the FXR Apex, and then the FXR Select, which is the one you get to custom order all your colors and options on. Yep. So you can see up in the top right-hand, left-hand corner, I, I can't ever tell which way it, you're actually looking at it. But uh, I got that list there of uh, the different FXRs, the ZX lineup. Um, Actually, so, Michael can't tell what left and right is. That's what it is. So there's this trick, Michael. You hold your hands up like this, and the one that makes an L is your left side. Yeah, but and, and that's why it's supposed to be but, your navy. But when you're, you're, supposed you're, to be when you're on starboard. camera, it it no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> we know these things, Michael. You're not the camera person. We said all that's this why, stuff. you know, if, if someone that's in the Navy port starboard, all you never right, have to worry about right. left and right. Yeah, that's all right. You're going to get John Cox. Uh, <laughs> it's already started. Marine started on that. All right, guys. Um, so uh, let's start out, and I'm going to go full screen so everybody can see this um, a little bit better so you don't have to look at our ugly mugs. And I'm going to hide... So while y'all talk about the colors, so that's options one and two on the ZX. The ZX-150, ZX-200, and uh, ZX-225. I'm going to go find the next set. Okay, so ZX, uh, the option one, that's kind of their typical tuxedo color. Uh, you've got Black Galaxy, White Gel, uh, Gunmetal 2 in there, some Silver Hologram pins, um, it's kind of their standard option one tuxedo color that's always been around in that. Um, option two is a charcoal hull uh, and deck stripe with moon dust stripes and some silver hologram pins. There's some also some midnight red pins in there as well. Um, that's a that's a different boat than Skeeter's done in a long time. That's really a pretty boat. It is. Uh, option three here. Oh, you ready for option three? Yes. Yeah, let's go option three. Option three. And, and we go into we go into the seats and everything, but basically you've got gray, gray, and gray with some accents and most anything. Um, Skeeter offers you know charcoal carpet, and their seats are all pretty, pretty gray standard with some standard lines. pipings and things like that. So option three, we're looking at uh, Nassau blue deck with white gel, silver spur gel, which is a medium gray, um, and uh, Nassau blue uh, accents and pins or silver hologram too. Um, option four is uh, black galaxy deck, white gel hull. Um, it's got some red gel in there and uh, some silver hologram in there as well. That's a, that's a variation of both Skeeter did in 2016, 2017 that we sold more of than any other color out there. 
And that's kind of a this that, that four is kind of a that's a traditional skeeter, very traditional team skeeter color. It's, colors. It's what it looks like an older team boat. It does, but it's a, still a gorgeous boat. Okay, option five, color option five. This one is um, a blue silver hull, which is a silver a silver flake with some blue flake in it as well. Um, it has some twilight plus. Silver hologram pins. Uh, it's got some cobalt gel mixed in, which is actually a pretty cool color. It is. It's a, so, it's a flat color. It doesn't have any flake in it. Just a straight gel, and it is. It's gorgeous in the sunlight. Um, option six. This one's always been kind of cool too. You got a gray matter gel hull, which is a flat color. A flat color. Um, you've got midnight green stripes, uh, hull stripes with some gunmetal two mix in there, but then the pins are going to be lime green as well. So that's going to be an interesting color. It's going to pop. It's going to pop. And there, well. if, if anybody was at the classic and took a demo ride, there was a ZXR in that color at the classic. Um, okay. Option seven, seven. is uh, we're looking at a Starfire plus hull, which is going to have, it's going to be a black base with some silver and some red in it. Um, Stripes are gray satin gels. You've got some uh, laser red in there. Uh, it, that's a, that's a pretty. That's also a very traditional Skeeter color. Um, something that goes back to the the roots of Skeeter. And then you've got option eight, which is that's going to be your the, you know the white gel. That's probably the whitest base boat you have because the inside is, it looks like it's even uh, white gel in there too. But that's again a kind of another another offshoot of the tuxedo color, but a brighter lighter version of it and one thing we hadn't touched on is every one of these boats is going to have a black hole under it yes every one of them's going to have a black hole yeah that uh definitely seems to be the trend has been for a lot of years a lot of years now um i only know of one guy that still orders white hull maybe two tim horton and jeff creed on their boats and they just look weird now yeah it's, they, it's not the normal them. thing um I don't know if you, Michael, if you want to go back to that other slide, it shows the rim options in here too on these things. Uh, I don't have the oh, don't on have the it. the trailer picks. Yeah, the trailer picks. Um, this I is, I think, I don't think this has changed much no. from from last year. That's the, on the ZX series. The ZX 150, 200, and 225 will have the same wheels they had last year. Um, so moving to the ZXR, this is an intriguing boat. It's a very similar hull to the FXR. Um, same kind of dead rise performance wise. It's going to be similar. So before we move to the okay. ZXRs, I'm kind of curious, um, which, ZX pricing? which, which no. color do you like on the, on the ZX, oh. out of the ZX lines? <laughs> So really, I'll I'd love you, to know what you guys. I'll give you eight there, guesses, and first seven don't count for me. Um, it doesn't have any green in it, does it? Of course, advanced right. angler green. You know they make that boat for me. It's advanced <laughs> angler green. That's what it is. So guys, and I would my highlighters. I would green. wouldn't. I would uh, appreciate if you guys. Uh, we'd love to know what you, uh, which one you like out of that ZX line. If you want to drop that in the comment, um, I'm just kind of curious to see. It's always fun. We're going to order a mess of them anyways. So, and you're going option two. You're going option, I'm going two? option two. And here's our nap pricing on the uh, nap pricing. Obviously, no uh, uh, no options, any of that kind of stuff. But nap on the uh, ZX150 is thirty six three ninety five. Uh, nap on the ZX200 is forty eight four ninety five, and on the ZX225 it's fifty five one ninety five. So still in that affordable range as far as options out there in the in the bass boat world these days um but you can add your options adjust your electronics and all that kind of stuff and obviously we can build anything yeah, to that, suit that zx 150 the changes you know we made the video mm -hmm. walk through on, yeah. on that thing and uh you know a lot more room to to add a lot of the bigger graphs and stuff like that for uh, for this year and, it ha and, that, and that boat has a lot more feel my first bass boat was a 1987 starfire 150 um and it had a smaller back deck with a longer front deck and that boat was a rocket ship and for having a 17 and a half foot boat with a with a uh, 150 on it that thing ran pretty darn good and the, the 150 is running very well so yeah. far um just wish we had more of them in <laughs> sold everything we had all right let's move on to the zxr we'll jump in let's look at option one and two
these come with an all blacked out uh, rim on the trailer. You'll see that when we get to trailers, obviously. Um, option one, again, another takeoff of their uh, tuxedo. We've got uh, the hull is going to be a black galaxy. Uh, there's some gunmetal too on the consoles, gunmetal too in the deck inlays. Now that's a dark, it's kind of a dark gray metal flake. Um, it has a little bit of hologram flake in the gunmetal too. Um, you can see a little bit of that. Not quite as much as the silver hologram, but it's got a little bit of hologram flake. Um, but white gels for the S-stripe. Um, it's got a few less stripes on it than the, uh, the see, FXR. Yeah has a few a few less stripes on it than the ZXR options wise as far as the trim packages go on this um, but that's the basic of their tuxedo version of that again another skeeter on option two another skeeter traditional black reds whites charcoal hull um, charcoal consoles uh, moon dust is the S stripe which is a darker red silver silver hologram two pins on there um, that's option two um, option three option three this is a silver spur gel on a white hull with some nassau blue that one's striking colors yes. that one looks that one looks really bright um and that blue is really bright that i think that's is. that's kind of matt's color right that's yeah, his blue yeah matt uses nassau blue on everything he does um this is the same option four that's the same red that was in the FXR last year, right on that one boat. And that, that, that man you grew to love over yes. our 12 hour trip home from Texas. It was, <laughs> it, we, we both kind of looked at each other in that one last year and uh, Hunter Cloud bought that boat from us here and, and he's been out there running and still every time I see it, I kind of go, Ooh, that one's pretty funky, but it's, it's kind of a salmon orange red. It's really kind of in a, the shade. Yeah. When you get it in the sun, it, it pops. Yeah. It's, it's bright. It looks great. Um, this one, we're talking about a white hull gel or white gel hull and console with the classic red gel is what they call it. S stripe, black galaxy deck. And uh, we do have some silver hologram pins in that one. Um, again, uh, with the black hull and the dark stripe or the black running surface and the dark stripe on the bottom, that's going to be a real catching boat. Um, option five. Uh, it's got a blue silver hull which is again that flake silver with blue flake in it um console is going to be the same some cobalt gel in there and some twilight plus uh, again silver hologram pins in there that's going to be a cool boat this one i really dig just the way they did this number six with the there's a little splash of that green in there that lime green that, that looks really good but gray matter gel midnight green s stripe um what, what sets that boat also good is the lime piping around the seats. Yes, it does. But I just love that it, it's just a trim edge. So it looks like a shadow of that lime green. I, I, I thought that one looks really good. Um, and that's not a that's that's not a green thing. That's just a. Uh, I like looks I like good. the way that that's it looks. Be a good looking boat. And here's the. Uh, these are the two solid colors. Solid colors, gray satin gels, which is a real light colored gel in 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 here. Uh, but it's got some Starfire Plus in it for the pinstripes. Uh, and it, it's got some uh, laser red. So that's a real bright. I think this is kind of a takeoff of the FXR color. And then this is kind of white with the black galaxies and, and some of the grays in there. So that's another that's another good color right there. Yep. All right. Um, and uh, I don't have trailer pictures that's for fine the zxrs that's all blacked out as they call it murdered out rims on that thing <laughs> um so zxr 20 nationally advertised price 59 and then the, you read it you got the zxr 21 is 62 um, um nationally advertised price of course if you want extra options second power pole extra grass all that stuff's going to come right to the top of that um, um of course so we got the ZXR walk around video. Mm -hmm. um, we got to play with one ZXR 21 here. We shot a video that I still have to edit, but things got so crazy uh, as we went into COVID and sales have just been through the roof. And uh, I haven't had a chance. 
I had quite a few folks mentioning on uh, YouTube that they want to see that video. So I'm going to try and on the water is the ZXR on the water um, that we shot. So hopefully we'll get that out soon. But uh, yeah, once but, you get that video out, people watch it for about 20 seconds and realize how good that boat's running and they won't take them but just a minute to make up their mind on that boat. But now you're going to have 20 foot boat with a 250 on it. Yeah, it's going to be a screamer, which I'm super excited about. Uh, it's going to be a screamer. Um, Mike Godfrey says he'll take one of each. They look great. <laughs> Come by tomorrow, Mike. We'll get the paperwork started on all of those. There'll be 16 boats in total. Um, we'll work out a really easy payment plan for you. Just give us your kids. Yeah. <laughs> and your grandkids for a generation, <laughs> I guess. And they're all going to work here for yeah. free. So um, we have a trailer out back they can Make stay in. And I mean a 18-wheel <laughs> box car. Anyway. So which, uh, which color on the ZXR? Are you, are you digging that green one? Yeah, just the way that the... Just but the way that that pop, it looks it's good. not it's not just because it's green it just looks so just looks so cool the way they outline that the, the tuxedo is always I don't know it's uh I'm I'm kind of a black and silver kind of guy so um, how about you which which one of those you excited I mean, Michael loves diamonds um either either the green one or the white and blue I like the white and blue. yeah that white and blue is I think we said that when we were at the dealer meeting mm -hmm. that that was. The battleship gray with the blue on it yes. at the fxr that that was wow yeah, and i'm not a blue fan i'm not a big blue fan that, myself that to this day is still my favorite boat that skeeter's done in several years several years several years um since the lime fx is all right yeah like jason morgan's boat yeah oh that boat's pretty let's jump in the fxrs we're just doing uh my wife doing likes the, the green and gray yeah we're doing the limiteds right now uh, they went to, again, another murdered out rim, a five spoke rim on this. Uh, and Michael doesn't have the pictures up of the trailers. Um, that's fine. We just wanted to see the boat colors. But um, option one, a little different. This is that. Uh, wait, this is the ZXR again, isn't it? No, they just didn't put the poles on it. Um, this is that silver spur gel with the Nassau blue. Um, so this is going to be a nice flat colored boat with a metal flake red stripe or metal flake blue stripe sorry i is dyslexic um that's all blue right yeah but nassau blue is the is the metal flake yes. real bright blue yes. um i really i don't i don't know why but i like the white seats that they've put on this boat the with the primary center color being yeah. white i think that looks really good and it it's never gonna out. be hot no it won't i like um, the i like the accent stripe on the console in blue yeah that is really cool the, and something else that you know you don't really notice until you get up close to one of these boats is the the boat has a stripe that goes across the center of the boat that if you had the carpet out of the boat the stripe would continue all the way down the center of the boat but it's at the bow where the trolling motor would mount and at the back where all the rigging comes out in front of the motor and it's just something a little extra to add some more color to these boats that that really sets them off and they offset on these if you look at the pictures there they offset the the area around the grass and the recessed trolling motor pedal is in that is in that trim color that yeah. looks really, really good. So on option one, it's going to be Nassau blue on the front around the trolling motor pedal, and it's going to be Nassau blue right in front of the motor where the rigging tube comes out. Yes. Um, and uh, so we go to option two. We're looking at a uh, we're looking at a uh, gray same. matter gel uh, with uh, moon dust as the pro stripe, uh, and then you got uh, it's basically just moon dust and gray matter gel. Boat Listen, say I need more cowbell on the side of it because that's a Mississippi State boat all day right there. <laughs> Put, uh, Starfire Plus pins on that boat. Um, so that's going to be a dark gray and, and dark red. That color. boat's going to be gorgeous in person. This one's interesting. Um, the white gel and silver hologram uh, with, uh, it looks like the pins are going to be charcoal. So that's going to be a real unique looking boat. Um, it's like kind of got a three tone. Yeah you know, monochrome white color there with the light gray to the dark gray. It's pretty cool. Um, option four, gray satin gel, which again is a medium gray. Um, deck, deck accents are going to be black gel. That one's going to be interesting. Uh, I mean, interesting, good looking boat. And there's a little splash of red there too, isn't there? Uh, yeah, just pins. The pins are laser red. That's going to be a real unique looking boat. That's a good looking boat. Um, ooh. Here's your tuxedo version, basically here. Uh, black onyx hull 
The black onyx is black with a silver flake in it. Um, it doesn't. It, it's it's kind of the lesser silver flake. You've yeah. got no onyx has got more, doesn't it? Onyx has more flake. Black Galaxy is the one that has a little bit less. Um, but deck accents white. Just uh, looks like a starry night. Yeah, it does. You're right. Um, but it's also got some silver spur gel in there too. So you got you got some some black flake in there as well as some of the other grays. This again, back to the Midnight Star uh, with white gel stripes. And uh, yeah, that's the boat that we just got we just in. just got in. Um, that one's real pretty. It's gorgeous. That's yeah. a real, real good looking boat. Which um, that one I do have over on our website. We've I've got the full listing photos and all okay. that kind of stuff. So cool. Eventually, Justin will get it rigged up eventually, with power poles. Yeah. And I do know, I do know that right now, uh, Skeeter had trouble getting some of their rims in uh, the the original FXR rims. They had trouble getting those in because of COVID. So they went to a backup rim. So they had 120 some odd sets of those. And when they get through those, it'll go back over to the all black rim. Yes. So those are those are a clear coat alloy with black accents on those rims that are on the boats that we have here. Uh, truthfully, myself, I'm not a big fan of all black rims. I like chrome with black. Hmm. But so I like these good. rims a little bit better, but a lot of people would prefer the all black. Those are almost the same exact wheels you have on your truck, don't they? Not really. Oh, they're pretty close. They would look good on there. They, they would. We can, we can swap and put your 22s on a boat trailer. No, we'll, we'll leave the 18s on there. We just have to put 18 those on to my boat. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's bring up seven and eight. Seven was interesting. Um, it It's grown on me. It, I'm going to say that. It has. It has grown on me. So I'm going to bring that one up. That's another photo we've got in stock. This, this boat screams John Cox. It, uh, it's a charcoal hull. So it's a metal flake hull, dark gray with white gel. And then when you look at the color chart, it says gray or gull gray gel as in the bird gull gull. But when that boat came in, we all kind of went, wow, who ordered the powder blue boat? And so the gray on this boat is it's got a real blue tint to it. Yeah. And it's grown on me. It's yeah. It's it's been here in the showroom for what a week now. Yeah, and every time I walk past it, I stop and look at it. It it has grown on me. It's really grown on me. When I saw it, when we first uncovered it, I wasn't a fan. Kind of like the red boat from last year. Now it's just yeah, it's it, one of my favorites that we've got. It actually, honestly, I think that would be the boat that I would choose, right there myself. Well, I can't wait to see. And it. I'm not a blue fan. It just yeah, it hit I can't me. wait to see it in the water in a you know good sunny day. Yeah, but it is a. It is a, I guess best to call it is like a North Carolina blue, like a Tar Heel blue kind of color. Um, it just, I don't know, it turned out really nice the way I look at it. Now, are we getting color matching blades again this year? I think they're all black. They're all black. All black. I think okay. they all went to all black. Um, and then here we are again with, uh, this is the white gel laser red. So it's a it's a red flake on color option eight. Um so it's a bright red flake in that boat um, with silver holograms and Starfire Plus in there too. So you're going to have some, you're going to have some dark. The the, the whole the, the S stripe is dark with some red flake in it, and then you're going to have the laser red around it too. Um, again, I'm really digging those seats with the white inserts. I'm really digging those seats. I think they look real good. Um, but that is the FXR Limited. Uh, we're at. Uh, it really didn't go up that much. Uh, nap on that boat on the FXR20 is 72.495, and it was 71.3 last year, so it went up just over a grand. Um, and the the uh, the 21 it went up. That one went up less. It's 73.995. So that's that's another um, decent as far as in, increase could have gone. Yeah. Um, well, before we jump into the apexes, I wanted to take a quick second and make a plug for Bucks Cash. Oh, yeah, please. Um, so, guys, if you haven't heard about it, um, you're watching this video later on. I'm sure most of you guys that are, are on with us right now have probably heard about the contingency program. <clears throat> but uh, that was new for last year. It'll, plan, it'll plan continue, on continue. The next, yeah. Um, so what I, I forget all the payout 
plan on that one. Um, Since you wrote it, why don't you? <laughs> it's so you have to be you have to you have to be registered in Skeeter Real Money in order to be eligible for Bucks Cast, and you have to register here as well. Um, but basically, what we did was we matched the old Real Money program before it before went they increased before it. they increased it. So if you fish a qualified tournament or a sanctioned tournament, you, you'll win if you're in a 2020 this year coming up. This year it was 2020, but a 21 boat. You will win 5000 from Skeeter and then get another 3000 from Bucks. So the total becomes 8000 And then obviously register for – uh, Yamaha's new power pay program mm-hmm. and that'll give you another slight bonus on that too and I think it's a couple hundred 250 bucks or something like that for some of our l- local trails but we've been able to sanction several Coosa River team trail um, Alabama bass trail we got the Dr. Pirani's tournament the city tournament those are all sanctioned um, there's actually some other tournaments in Tennessee that we've been able to that, that a lot of our customers fish um, that we've been able to sanction as well so and we won't go through the whole whole list of everything, but uh, we got all the information on the website. Um, real easy to find. Just click on Bucks Cash in the menu. It'll get you there. Um, and uh, you can even register online. Was it 30, 30 bucks? Get you a hat and the decals, yes. something like that. We Basically, with that, all we did was just cover the expense of the hat and the decals getting made. Um, that's all we did. There's no, there's no profit in it for us. Um, but we just, we want people that are going to be, committed to representing the brands and 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 representing us and representing bucks because truthfully you know and and i know i speak for all everyone here but for the the three of us as the the marketing team we we've put a lot of effort into trying to give back to the bass fishing community and and really try to help and skeeter skeeter obviously they they want us doing it too all of our brands do but um but so We've, we've put a lot of time and effort into doing that. And this is one of the ways that we can give back. And you got to give Tony and Mary credit for stepping up and preparing for this. Cause yeah. that's, that's just, it's, it's pure and simple as a cash outlay. Yeah. And yeah. they've really, really, really committed to helping those customers. And we rolled bucks cash out what beginning of last year. Yeah. And we've had, it's, it's funny. We've had several, uh, I mean, I don't know how many people have registered for it, but we also have a, we have a lower fight, you know, anybody that's ever bought a boat from Bucks Island, it doesn't yeah. have to be a new boat that was bought in the last year, but we have a lower, a as long as it was a Skeeter that was purchased from Bucks Island, there's a, there's a smaller, but we've had two people that actually won tournaments that would have been eligible for one or more of the prices that didn't register. Yeah. One guy, one of them left eight on the table Oh, and I feel bad for him. Well, all right. So we're ready for the, the top of the line. The apex, the apex, and this has got you know lighting packages and you know locker bar, locker bars, and you know it's this this is a full out full tilt, everything again murdered out rims, but it's it's kind of a star pattern. Um, uh, option one, that's a that's blue. blue. They call it Wraith Blue Tri Tech, is what they call it. Um, the hull is wraith blue the stripe is wraith blue uh the pro stripe which is the waterline stripe uh it's uh black gel um but it's a blue boat it's got some accent pins on there that are uh this is the silver hologram too uh not a blue fan myself uh that actually is going to be pretty with that contrast between the silver and the black they did the same thing here. Tritech is their it's it's more of an automotive type finish with a real crystalline flake into it that just it's it's only available on the apex. Yeah. It's a much smaller flake than the normal flake that comes on the boats. It's you know, it's about the size of the head of a pin. It's tiny flake. Very tiny, and it gives you that crystalline shine yeah. to the whole thing. It's a real cool looking boat. Uh, this is a red version of it, moon dust tritech with uh, black gel deck accents. Um, and uh pro stripe where's a pro stripe yeah black gel so this is kind of a blue and red version of the same those seats are awesome yeah those seats boat. look really good uh seat let's see what the seat says uh well it doesn't doesn't give me the seat colors 
that's but that's a good looking seat. I don't know what that is. Skip that one. Yeah. All right, let's bring up three and four. Three and four. This is the tuxedo version of the Apex. Um, Black Galaxy hull. Uh, gray matter tri tech. So what that is is it's a it's a it's a dark gray with that crystalline flake in it. They had a whole boat last year in that color. Um, it's in, stealth. Yeah, this one's got some. This one's going to have a little bit more flake in it. It's got the black galaxy, um, white gel stripes and deck accents, and this is a real pretty boat. I think this one the, this one's the most striking. Number four, you've got a gunmetal two hull. That's gonna look good. Um, it's a, they call it true blue tri -tech, which is a real bright blue with that tri -tech small flake in it, but gunmetal twos and midnight stars, the inside of the console, again, silver hologram two flake. And then this is the, uh, this is an, a red version of that same boat with the charcoal hull red tri -tech, So it's the similar red with the bright red with the silver or the uh, crystalline flake in it uh red uh, this one's this one's kind of striking it's kind of a traditional it's a very paint scheme for uh apex it's a very traditional very traditional color layout but on this boat with tri tech it's gonna be it's gonna be pop it's gonna pop when it's on the water and looking through these colors this is the first time i've seen all the colors yes i've seen two boats in person which were the two we got in um but I will say this right off the bat is that Skeeter has killed the seats this year. You know, last year the seats looked good. This year the seats perfectly match every boat. They uh, they did a really good job of coordinating the seats to the hulls this year. Uh, nap on the Apex, 79495 for the FXR20 Apex, and uh, 80895 for the 21 Apex. Um, again, that's got more features. Uh throughout the whole boat that make it, you know, that's the cost difference. And then that finish is real, the, real, real unique. The Solixes on the Apexes or is that an I think they're all, the I think they're all Helix, Helix still. Um, but they're two twelves and, you know, that kind of, that Atlas. kind of deal. Atlas is standard on the Apex. It Locker is. bar is standard. The high intensity LED lights in all the compartments, deck lights are standard. You know, you're getting, you're getting the cream of the crop with that boat. Every option that you'd ever want to put on it comes on the boat standard. Yeah. I think the only thing you could probably add would be another console and extra graphs, extra graphs. Yeah. And yeah. that would be done in house. Yeah. Um, but that's something that can be done if we, if you wanted to do it, but those apexes are unique. There's not going to be too many others of those out there. Last year, there were four apex colors this year. There's five. Um, and, uh, that, that crystalline flake in there, that tri tech mm -hmm. is that's, it's, it's impressive. It's yeah. if, if you've never had the opportunity to see an apex in person, it's worth just looking at one just for the simple fact of the finish that's on the boat, you'll never see a boat that has the same finish as the, the Apexes do. It's a it's a gorgeous finish, no matter what color it is. I got to bring this one up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, well, that's uh, they, they're kind of they're kind of good at, at, at hooking you into to getting getting on something a little new, a little different. Um, of course, guys running the ZX two fifties. Um, in particular, uh, ZXRs. Uh, yeah. It's a real interesting boat. Yeah, the guys that the guys that have been running ZX two fifties. You know, they were there for a twenty one foot boat with a two fifty, and I honestly, in my opinion, think that those guys that have been running ZX two fifty for the past couple of years could come down to a ZXR twenty um, and be perfectly happy because the boat is so much bigger than the ZX was. Um, front deck's wider, front deck's longer. You've got a lot more fishability out of that ZXR than you did the ZX two fifty. What did we figure? It was like. Overall deck space was 15% larger. It, on the but, FX to the FXR is what we figured that on. And it was, but in the, it, the overall deck space was 15% larger, but the, the fishing area was like 30% larger yes. total, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So on the original ZX250 or ZX225, you get up there on the front and, you know, me and Dano stand on either side of the trolling motor pedal. We're shoulder to shoulder. We're touching. In the ZXR, we can stand up there and we got all the room in the world. Yeah. I can't cast left-handed, but. You know, we can that's make why, it work. That's why I stand on that side. Yeah. Because yeah. I can roll cast left handed. Yeah. Uh, I set the hook to the right, though, so Justin gets a nice. Yeah. He gets a, you know, like a, what do we call it? Looks like the cover of Garth Brooks CD from the 90s with the stripe across your face. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I was thinking you had like a nice sword gash yeah. from, from yeah. like uh, 300 or something. 
is so fishing. Back to, <laughs> <laughs> back exactly. to boats. Uh, all right. So just uh, trying to look through a couple of these comments. If you guys have any questions, um, we'll jump here into the uh, availability, um, <laughs> which I wish uh, we had. An answer? Yeah, a great answer. Uh, so Apex 3 or 5 has me wanting to retire my old one. Come on, Jason. Uh, we can do it. We'll take a deposit and put one on order for you. You can keep your boat till your new one comes in. Yes, sir. Yep. A lot of you guys with those ZX250s. Uh, well, I mean, that Apex. God, those things are beautiful. They most certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> I did, Timmy. Yeah. What Timmy say? He said, did Justin just go 90s music on us? 90s music? Yeah. Oh, with Garth? Yeah. Is that 90s music? Is yeah. anything country 90s? Garth is. That's true. All right. So what I will say in terms of availability from what I do here, um, we've got most everything that, that is on order, we've got listed on the web and clearly identified as, as an on order boat. Uh, some people get confused when they look at our inventory and they see that stuff, whether we've got it here or not. Um, but we try to make it as clear as possible. Um, so I will say right off the bat, there's quite a few of them. A lot of the ZXRs that are already sold, they're marked sold. Uh, we've got deposits on them. Yep. Um, but from what I understand, the bottom line is right now, we're not a hundred percent sure when we're going to get more boats. No, and so the answer to that question, what you're going to want to do is call Steve Kroll. And here's his personal cell phone number. <laughs> I know what he's going to say. Uh, well, guys, we're doing the best we can. Here's here's what I understand is that we're looking August, September for some of this. We're getting trickles here and there as they finish things. But for the bulk of them, August, September. Yeah. Um, but yeah. we, we will take deposits. I mean, and we'll hold it. But it's, it's the kind of deposit that we'll give it back to you if you decide you want to yeah. change something. Yeah. And like right now, I've got three ZXR sold that are not even here yet. Yeah. I've got deposits on three of them. The first ones are supposed to hit the ground end of July. The first load of ZXRs we've got coming, the whole load sold. Yes. Um, but, you know, we'll we'll let you all know on Facebook when those boats hit the ground. And if you want to come take a look at them in person, you know, you can come take a look at them in person. You know, because right now we don't have a ZXR sitting on the floor. So we, yeah. we'll make that available to you so that y'all can come at least look at one before you decide what you want to do. And then you can place your deposit and order a boat from there. And I'd probably say, depending on when you're watching this video, if you're, you're seeing it on YouTube or something like that later on. Um, but probably what by, I mean, from now through August, September, you probably have a pretty good chance. If you know that you want that color, you can come in and basically order that color yeah. in line with the other boats that we're ordering. Yeah. Um, they've been telling us on the, uh, selects because we have a couple of those going right now and a, the select is one of those that you pick every color every option every yeah it's you a know. fully custom boat um where they're telling us those are eight weeks so i'm assuming in the production line you're looking at that same eight to ten week period um now that was two weeks ago maybe ten weeks now for all i know but um that's kind of what they're saying yeah, yeah. so um uh, so the, the bottom line is I know that, uh, you know, Skeeter and all the manufacturers are working their hardest. Um, I mean, there's a lot of folks that have, I, mean, I think we're down to one 2020 Skeeter left and that's that FXR select that's, that's sitting out there. Mm -hmm. um, I think everything else is sold and, and I think a lot of folks are in the same boat. So, um, and that's unusual. We absolutely. Typically, we typically will carry Girl. over 15, 12 to 12 to 18 2000 you know the of the last model years previous model years and and uh but we've only got the one left right now and that's a one of a kind you know that's one of those selects that was ordered uh for a for a, a customer that ended up changing jobs and ended up not taking the boat but we uh, that boat's still here it's everything fxr you want but uh got an atlas on it two blades on it yeah boats loaded out well so um again whenever you're watching this it's at 20 pricing not 21 pricing yes. yep so head over to our website like i said i am working my hardest um with keeping everything up to date on what we have on order um and then uh, you know obviously we'll be updating information on on when we think things are going to become available and as justin said as soon as we start getting loads in um like we got three fxrs the other day one of them was a it was a custom order boat 
um, and then uh, the other two limiteds. Um, got those on the web same day that uh, they pulled them off the truck. So, yeah, we do have two of the FXRs right now yes. that are available, I believe, yes. right? And I know both of them are I available. think Melissa and Katie have already got a number of folks they've already called that, that were wanting to, to we'll come see that boat when it hits the ground. So let's see what were those. That's the six and the seven, I think, is what we've got in. Is that what it is? And it's the gray gold gel. And then the Nassau blue versions, whatever those are. So, yeah, it's a seven and a six. You are right, Mike. You are right, Miguel. You are well you chosen. 2021 warranty, for Mr. John Cox. Uh, the, as far as we know, the Yamaha is going to still be a three year warranty. Um, obviously, at some point, they'll do a promotion. For warranty promotion two. but we never know exactly when they're going to do it you know they'll give us a couple weeks notice on that john um but for right now it's it's three-year warranty and then we have options to purchase an extended warranty at the time of sale um but of course on yamaha you can only go to six yeah but that's three extra years yes um and then on the on the boat i mean nothing well, nothing's any, changed, seen on the boat. Nothing's changed. there's any change on, no nothing on changes the on those I think you can transfer the 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 full warranty to the second owner with a what two hundred fifty dollar fee yeah. or something like that. Um, so at least through the second owner, the the warranties are extended, extendable. So. Um, All right. <laughs> what's that one? Jason Jones. Can I get enough? Uh, <laughs> man. I never, uh, I always joke when, uh, when I started working here, I never knew that I was going to be part marriage counselor as a boat salesman, but uh, that, that ends up, I've, I've had some interesting conversations mm -hmm. uh, the last few years, so um, can't help you there. Uh, Mr. Tim. That one's hard to hide. Yeah. We saw Tim up here earlier. Tim, Tim's been here a couple times the past couple weeks. Sergeant Hurd, the uh, the Justin's been buried in the back ends of boats. The salespeople here have been doing such a great job that yeah. we've had Justin in a hole back there. Yeah. They don't they don't even let me go to lunch. They just bring me food and throw it through the door. Usually on a straw. Yeah, he's completely boxed in by uh, pontoon boats right now. I close my eyes at night and I see pontoon boats. Yeah, we've 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 strapped permanently strapped liquid MREs to Justin's back. Is what we've done. Uh no lighter car no it's gonna be charcoal yeah skeeter is going to one color carpet pretty much for one every color boat. carpet one color cover yes that's what they've done just to kind of streamline production it was the most popular popular color carpet they were doing so they just kind of streamlined it and made that the, the only option all right uh in terms of terms um most of what we see is 15 years 10 percent down uh, with most of the banks that we work with um when we talk about skeeters when you get over fifty thousand, um there they're definitely folks that have gotten up to 20 years yeah um and then if you've got a high enough you know credit scores and all that kind of stuff we we've seen some zero down um and interest rates have been pretty good this year um they have been i think actually. the lowest has been about four seven four or something like that but um yeah that's uh we work with with a handful of, of banks and um have been getting some pretty good terms Tim's Tim's typo was exactly right. <laughs> Which one's that? <laughs> he meant to say the best rigger there is. He meant, but he, what he put is the beat rigger. Yeah, I'm he is beat. beat. <laughs> he is my shoe one. We tied. are ready for the fourth. What do you say, Gentry? Pontoons ain't getting. Gentry, just so you know, there's a team of three people back here rigging pontoons as we are sitting here right now. Justin has hey. in, Justin has indentured servants back there. <laughs> And if you did take them off for last week, you could have been rigging pontoons with us. Uh, I was yeah, going to go to the true. fire hall for Gentry, and he was going to come up here and work for me. All right, guys. You with the hose? Are we, I think uh, you'd have been spraying your buddies, not the fire. <laughs> <laughs> have we got anything else about Skeeters? I, it's just it's going to be a, it's going to be a great year for for Skeeter. Um, and we've had a, a 2020 model year was great for us. I yes. Mean, we, we cannot complain a bit about the year we've had. You know, everybody that's bought a boat, thank you for buying a boat from Absolutely. us, putting your trust in us and letting us do this for y'all. Um, 
we just want to continue next year. So tell every friend you've got where you want, where you got your boat. Yep. Um, so again, if you're watching this on YouTube, I definitely ask you to uh, hit that subscribe button. Um, actually, we're, we're getting, I think we're about a little over a thousand folks over there on, on YouTube. So, um, or uh, like I said, I've got videos that I've got to get cranked out. We're working on some, some stuff for this coming year. Um, got some ideas hashing. Yep. Um, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. It's, this has been, it's crazy that the model year, like it's done. Like it seems like it was two months ago that we were at the data making. Yeah. It, it went, it flew. So it has been a lot of fun. Um, guys, we appreciate all of you. Um, we've got incredible customers. We and, do. Uh, that makes this a whole lot easier. It does. We do. So, um, guys, if you've got any more questions, feel free to, to drop them in the comments. Um, I would like to know what your favorite color is. Um, cause that's, uh, that's always interesting to see. And uh, we are going to get boats in as quickly as we possibly can and let you, let you know. Um, so love to see you. Lots of stuff planned for the next, uh, next coming year. Yep. So, and Tim left us one more comment there. Notice there's a lot of new tackle in the loft. <laughs> Tim, you that's, need all, it. that's all Dano does is spend Mary and Tony's money. That's not all I do. <laughs> I spend mine too. Ask my wife. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. Um, it, it's, uh, endless amounts of tackle. Yes. So well, I wouldn't say endless. There's a lot of stuff in here that I've wanted to, or a lot of stuff I've wanted to put in that we can't because don't have enough wall space. So go buy it, come in here, buy it, buy it online. So we got more space to put more stuff. We in need here. to put more stuff in here. All okay. right, guys, y'all have a good day. Thanks for, uh, thanks for spending some time with us today. Thank you everybody.